All right. Uh, so this time of the year gets dark early, as you very know. early. Mm -hmm. You take a look outside right now. Sunset 3:54 today in Bangor, in Portland. I probably should know this. 4:04, I believe, is the official. You're getting a little bit of the twilight aspect of it there. Actually, it looks pretty when you look at it this way. Yeah. It would be prettier if it were eight o'clock. Yes. That's the challenge. Yes. So I want to talk. I mentioned this quickly last night, and I got a lot of emails. And mm. It's not something you should mention quickly, as it turns out. So. <laughs> Today is the earliest sunset okay. of the year, even though the shortest daylight is December 21st. And so okay. I'm going to show you the website that we actually use to, to put the almanac in every day. Uh, and so what you're looking at is daylight hours in the yellow, okay, mm -hmm. and then the nighttime hours are in the gray color. And sunrise and sunset are in the red and blue, respectively. So if we go to December 8th, which I hope we are doing right now, you will see that that is kind of, it's hard to tell from this, this distance, but that's the absolute low. And then we start plateauing for a while and then slowly start increasing that uh, sunset time. However, look down at uh, sunrise. That actually keeps getting later and later until January 5th. So although our mm. shortest day, as far as daylight, is December 21st, we nip on the edges on different sides of it. So the good news is, I think more people complain about the early sunset yes, than the later, the later sunrise, sunrise, from my experience. So this is as bad as it's going to get, <laughs> even though we plateau for a while. Now, this will sh shock you guys. I read two explanations on why this is, and I was very confused. And it's not a good sign, because I'm kind of a nerd. Yeah, but you get this stuff. The basic right. premise is that clock time and sun time are different. So clock time is an approximation of the sun time, but it's not exact. And so little differences in the axis of the Earth and the wobble mm. over time accumulate such that it's not going to be exactly in sync when we get to the edges, including the summer and the winter solstice. And that's okay. why oh. this happens. But it didn't make as much sense to me as I wanted it to. Um, but it, it's something that I learned a while ago, and I think people still don't know that this is as early as it gets and then we start. And to your point, yeah. I think that's the relief for a lot of folks is we're not yeah. going to keep seeing an earlier sunset here. I mean, it's there bad enough as it that. is. Uh, yes. I, I don't know, like, I meant to check. It's even worse, obviously, the farther east and right. north you get. So a place like Eastport is, we, were, we show Bangor a lot, but th their sunset is a couple of minutes earlier than that. So um, this is also, by the way, quickly, the same reason that the earliest suns, uh, sunrise in uh, America is often Cadillac Mountain, but not always. Yes, yeah, some days. Sometimes it's some. Mars Hill. Yeah, right. And so it has to do with, with the angle and the wobble and all that. So there you go. So it's not going to get any worse than this, at least sunset-wise. Sunset-wise. Yeah. Okay. Some good news in there. Yeah. All right, Keith. Yeah. Thanks for explaining it.